Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pipe Squatch channel and today I'm going to be doing another tobacco review. I'm going to be doing Boswell's Northwoods. The stuff that I tried out in my Morgan Bones pipe. I wanted to talk more about that so I didn't talk about how awesome I was enjoying the flavor of the Boswell's Northwoods. But I'm going to do a full kind of step by step like I've done my other reviews with this and just kind of go from there on how it tastes and what my opinion is on it. Remember, disclaimer, my opinion on pipe tobacco and pipes is my opinion. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be yours too because you may taste something completely different. My taste for English has developed and I love it. It's probably my favorite blend of tobacco, any kind of English. Right now I'm really enjoying early morning pipe it's a milder one i'm enjoying nightcap my favorites right now are frog mortons and another one that i'm not going to talk about because i'm going to do a video video about that here pretty quick before we go anywhere else let's talk about boswell's boswell's is a pipe shop in pennsylvania i believe that was started in 1975 by jm boswell and he makes his own pipes too and their motto on their website it says simply stated uh, his pipes smoke just read a little bit uh, Boswell is a class, J.M. Boswell is a classic American story that to this day embodies quality craftsmanship with a dedication to preserving authentic handmade artistry proudly serving the internet pipe community since 1997 so they've been around a while online too two brick and mortar locations in Chambersburg and Alexandria Pennsylvania all right, so the Northwoods, the description is, it is a deeply complex English with smooth and mild base of Latakia along with toasted Virginias. Apparently, J.M. Boswell, the person that founded the store, had blended this for himself and this is what he smoked in the store all the time and his customers kept coming in and saying, hey, what is that? I want some. So he started bulk blending these a bit, I'm assuming. When you open the tin, Right away, the Latakia is not overpowering. Like when you open a tin of North, uh, not Northwoods, this is Northwoods. Good job, Zeke. When you open a tin of Frog Mortons and it's just like boom in your face, that smokiness, it's there. Don't get me wrong, it's strong and I like that a lot, but it's supposed to, it, it, it supposedly has a hint of sweetness to it too that some of the other richer English blends don't. And I've noticed that so far. So I'm gonna do a full, well, since I'm still breaking in this Morgan's, wow, I just threw a chunk of it across my shoulder. I'm still gonna put it in there and smoke it. I don't care. I'm still breaking in the Morgan Bones pipe. So I'm not gonna do a full bowl, but I'll at least do the three quarters because that's about where I am at the break in point. Start with the char light. <clears throat> So on the char, and I know I took a few extra drags on that because I like this stuff good. Initially, I get the smoke, I get the Latakia. Uh, I get just a hint, just a slight hint of the Virginia. And there's something, let me say this, it's just on the char light, well, char light when I get it. But I almost get this hint of like a cocoa. Not sweetened cocoa, I'm talking like if you took some dark cocoa and just stuck it in your mouth with no sugar, it's not bad, but if you're wanting something sweet, it's not good. But I'm not wanting the same sweet, so this is good. So there's just a hint of it, and it may be something just my mouth is picking up. Looking at their website, I don't think there's supposed to be anything like that. Yeah, there's, there's nothing on their website about it, the chocolate hint. And like I said, that just may be coming from me. I like it though. There is some sort of black Cavendish in this, so maybe that's what I'm tasting. Maybe that's where I'm getting that chocolate hit, um, hint. I don't know what the casing is on it, but it's really, really good. And it is kind of a sweet smoke. So let's kick this in again. There's the true light. As I smoke it, More of that Latakia smell comes out, more of that smoky. But this is a smoother, 
sweeter Latakia. It, I would almost say it's the same similar mix as Frog Morton's, but the Latakia used may be a little milder. No, I'm not going to say that because this has more sweet than Frog Morton's does. With this one, I'm getting more of that Virginia sweet in it. You can keep puffing on it and come back about with a quarter of a bowl left. It pairs really well with coffee. What? All right, I'm about, I've got about a quarter left. Still smoking outstanding. I did let it go out. Okay, call me crazy. But after I let it go out and it cooled off for a few minutes and I came back to it, I'm getting a citrus hint. I've not read any reviews on this where that comes in, but it's good. Boswell Northwoods, would I recommend you buy it? Absolutely. Will I put this in my regular rotation? Once again, absolutely. This is good stuff. It's kind of one of those, you know how in the morning you want like a really light, whether it's a Virginia, maybe early morning pipe that's not as rich. At lunch, you want, a, you want something a little more rich, but you don't want to quite, kind of quite jump down in the deep end of that Latakia. This is that. It's just the, it's the perfect blend. I would even say I could probably smoke this all day. I could do this in the morning too. It is, it is a awesome, awesome smoke. Beard note's good. It's not too campfirey. The room note. So far, it doesn't seem to be too campfirey. I haven't had my wife come knocking on the door saying, quit smoking that. But yeah, Boswell's Northwoods, I recommend it. Once again, my opinion, just go to boswellpipes.com. You'll be able to get it. I'll put it right there or right there, whichever direction it goes. So keep your pipes loaded. Slow down. Philosophize and enjoy your life. Yeah.